The key concept behind weight control is energy balance, a principle derived from the laws of thermodynamics. The adult human body requires a certain amount of energy to fuel metabolism and all movement throughout the day. When the energy entering the body consistently equals the energy being expended, there's a state of balance and body weight remains stable. If there's insufficient or excess energy, this causes an imbalance and the body attempts to restore equilibrium by either gaining or losing weight. Too much energy results in weight gain, too little energy results in weight loss. And because the law of conservation of energy dictates that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only converted to different forms, the energy that goes into the body has only two fates. It's either used to run your metabolism and fuel movement, such as walking, bathing, and exercise, or it's converted into a form that is stored for later use, either glycogen, which is the storage form of carbohydrate, protein as muscle or other lean tissue, or adipose tissue, which is body fat. In terms of weight control, energy is typically expressed in calories, the calories contained in food and beverages, and the calories we burn through activity and metabolism. What does it mean when your weight is stable? It means you're consistently maintaining a calorie balance, and on average, you're eating the same number of calories as you're burning. What causes weight gain? Eating more calories than your body uses. What causes weight loss? You're right, eating fewer calories than you burn. So the laws of energy reveal the underlying cause of obesity, a chronic energy imbalance, and therefore, successful weight control ultimately comes down to managing calories, the calories we take in and the calories we burn. Now, how many pounds do you think adults gain each year? You might be surprised that on average, adults gain only one to three pounds every year. It doesn't seem like much, but if you gain just a couple pounds every year, you'd end up significantly overweight, if not obese, after a few decades. The good news is, you could completely avoid that yearly one pound weight gain by making a 10 calorie day adjustment. Taking a few hundred steps, standing up for an extra 15 minutes, or giving up that one last bite of dinner is all that's needed. But here's the problem. It seems counterintuitive to stand or pace instead of sit, or to push the plate away. And making these changes seem insignificant because you don't see an immediate difference. No visible changes in your body that day, or the next, or the next. It's the very reason they're avoided. But over time, it means the difference between staying slim or becoming an obesity statistic. This concept of self-regulating your daily behaviors to control body weight is crucial to providing viable solutions.